welcome to a new lesson of watercolor painting in this video we will try to create a watercolor landscape from this particular reference okay this reference is a little bit crowded i mean a lot of a lot of foliages a lot of uh, vegetations are there we will try to simplify this right so we have to select a, a part of this so i will probably take somewhat this portion okay around this portion from here from this tree onwards maybe from here and i will cut it somewhere here uh, so that i i will get this this house and we can uh, some of this 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 pathway this road this climbing sort of uh, road and then we get all these trees leaves foliage etc okay. so uh, let us begin uh, with a thumbnail stage right so uh, for the easiness let us crop this image so that we have only the the i mean the frame that we are interested in so this is the image that is cropped let us make a, a thumbnail sketch of this okay so first of all let us make a frame on the sketchbook you don't have to be very accurate at all this should somewhat represent your the size of your watercolor paper okay so particularly the width to height ratio of this and this frame and the, that of the watercolor paper all should be proportional right so otherwise then it can easily transfer translate from this particular image to this and this to the watercolor paper so <coughs> it is it is better if you can make sure that the proportions are uh, correct for the frame for your thumbnail sketch and the watercolor paper i always emphasize on that point right now let us make a drawing quick drawing now i i find for the simplicity for positioning i find this as a kind of a line and i find this i can reasonably assume this is an extension of this line just for the placement of this line on the on the drawing paper so this is if you divide this if you take this measurement one maybe two here maybe three here it is uh, that means this is slightly below one third okay so if you make approximately one third of this one third will come somewhere here so this comes slightly below one third it looks to be a uh, little at the this seems to be more but in fact it is it is not even one third okay so it is less than one third we if, if the, this the doesn't have to be very accurate right so it is it is just an approximation now let us make this particular line this also seems to be a kind of uh, clear line to me so, but where does this start this starts is at the center is this distance and this same not exactly this seems to be slightly a tiny bit more than this so let us divide it into half divide it into two portions and this seems to be slightly more that means we have to get somewhere from here and you measure you judge this angle right this one more more than this right now now we got this angle now we we have to make this okay this and in fact this comes a little bit little down okay now this seems to be from here it is slightly above half so if you take a half mark here so it is somewhere about this maybe somewhere here okay this uh, you don't need a very precise uh, uh, this one for this precise measurement this uh, this is a landscape right you can it, it will still look good if it is slightly off okay this is not a portrait or in, i mean that kind of a subject now let us make this kind of a 
this line okay so that seems to be a little bit of a perpendicular to this line so let us make see all this will make your drawing little bit more reliable Now there is another line here and another line here. So we will make all those angles should be little good. Okay. Now there is another line. Okay. Now there is another line here. All these angles you try to pay attention now this particular thing is not touching this line so it has to end somewhere here and there is a blue line kind of a thing here and there is something like this these tiles coming here and then it goes here now you have the walls okay now there is some blue something that is in blue color some tint or something okay we will we'll try to define those things when we you know what what to do when we paint it we'll try to make it we'll try to define those things now we will just try to draw And this is uh, reasonably, uh, what do you call it as? This is reasonably light. Okay. So here it is little darker in tone. And now, so there are some some suggestion of darks here and i really do not know what these things are there are these darks we are little bit interested in okay. now we have those tiles you can suggest i am making little faster this line and while making these tiles, you can pay attention to the, the perspective and all. Right. Now, <coughs> now we have this, what do you call it as? All these angles you have to be little careful. Now this road comes somewhere from this point. It is going for a slight bend and it is coming down. Okay. And it becomes darker. Now we have a lot of foliages at the at the back side of the house. Okay. We have some foliages at the back side of the house. No, that is little lighter in color. See, this is also a tonal study kind of thing. Little lighter, and you have some more darker foliage. steps lot of uh, darker foliages there
this basically this is a kind of a darker darker volume okay now you have to suggest this foliage is also Stuff here. I don't know what this thing is, but it is having a perspective like this. Okay. So we have something more here. Now we have a lot of foliages, some coconut tree kind of thing here. Okay. Some foliages here. And it, it covers this entire area in fact. We have some window here, we will extend it a little bit to, towards the visible side so that it gives a little bit more interest. Okay. Some lot of shadows here. I think we have reasonably uh, represented the, the drawing now. I'll soften it a little bit just to save time. Yeah, it will be something like this. I have over softened it, but this will be something like this right so we'll go with for the drawing in the watercolor paper all right now we'll draw into the watercolor paper this is a quarter sheet uh, indian handmade paper 300 gsm cold pressed uh, quarter sheet means 15 inch wide 11 inch height right now we'll make the drawing so you remember those all those things so we have some idea of uh, this drawing now so here i will not be making it very very what do you call it as very much detailed
going little silent because I, I am focusing on the what you call it is the the drawings. I, we we don't need too much of details. Okay, we don't need too much of details. All these foliages and all, I am not going to draw. Some banana leaves. I don't know whether I I am going to make that or not, but I I might make that also. Okay, I think this much is sufficient. Let us see how how does it look like. Okay, so this much is sufficient for the drawing. Now we will make the washing part all right so i'll be using some i'll be using a mop brush a natural hair uh, some round round brushes okay a medium size and a small size right and i might use uh, some more two more round brushes one with a long hair and one is uh, a tiny one right so and for some dry brush strokes i might use this rigor brush sort of thing we will go we will use cobalt blue we will co use cobalt blue and make a, p a pale wash for the sky I'm leaving the white spaces for the house. Okay. Now I will I will go with the round brush. Okay. I'll go with the round brush and uh, make some suggestion for the 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 foliages which is at the far away. I'll use some cobalt blue and violet cobalt blue and violet and then suggest this this uh, the distant stuff okay we don't need uh, too much of details here okay. this can be very done very this edge I am little worried about I am trying to Follow the drawing for this edge. Okay. Well, 
that will be sufficiently suggesting the the distant uh, foliages and now we need lot of uh, what you call it as the nearby uh, darker foliages for which i'll be using little bit of uh, permanent yellow and also suggesting some details here i'm using permanent yellow and maybe i will use some plain water wash because i want lot of wet wet things to happen there lot of things to happen in wet okay so i will use the mop brush itself i am using sap green and uh, quite a bit of uh, yellow and i am giving some wash okay because there are some underlying washes there some greenish stuff okay and i don't want too much of details there some touches here and there and lot of yellowish little orangish touches for this area also sorry protecting some area with the uh, white here so that i don't want the roof to be disturbed i want some portion of the of the roof to be protected I might not use. I might not bother here about the banana leaves and other things. Okay. Okay. At this point, I think I, am pro I have protected the how. I mean the tiles sufficiently. Now I will make some greenish. little bit orangish greenish stuff some variations okay We'll come back here later. I think we'll have to come back here. Okay. So the 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 objective is not to clear. I mean, precisely do the things. Okay. Objective is to suggest. some of the 
I leave greens because a lot of darker steps are there. Now if you look at this area, this is uh, yellowish orange, so we like to suggest that also. Some yellowish orange. It is reddish now, so let us make it red. Some red and burnt sienna, I am just trying to cover this area because this is a muddy stuff. And I find lot of orange also there. I mean, not orange, violet. So I'm adding lot of violetish touch, greenish touch. So very lot of different varieties of vegetations are there. So I'm just trying to create something of that sort. And while this is still wet, I need some greenish stuff to go here. I'm using blue also. I have to use we have to use different colors. I'm using ultramarine blue also to make it little
think we are given some suggestions now. Okay, now we will have to make some suggestion for the coconut trees and all. So what I will do is I will take a smaller brush and try to use some of this green colors and use it with blue and some, maybe some suggest some coconut tree here. We don't need any, any precise thing here. Okay, I'm just diffusing it with some water. Now we need. Okay, we need something. Okay, now this looks very, very colorful step now. Let us see how we can help out. This is my mistake. I should have never touched it. Okay, now, now let us uh, go for this roof. Okay, I'm going for the roof. For the roof, I would, I would have preferred little bit red little orange it is too too much red now uh, maybe a touch of some violet this my violet is polluted with the green falling down in that but I am leaving a thin white line there thing like white line and this area I, am, I want to suggest some light so I am using little orange okay. I wanted to suggest more of light here Some touches in between those orange stuff so that we, we have a feel of continuity here. So that there is a continuity. Here I am going to doing little bit painting around this particular banana leaf or something, whatever it is. Okay, so that it is convincing.
and the paper is little misbehaving today okay let us wait for this to dry now okay now we'll have to while this gets dry what we could do is we can make some details there okay so we can make some some of these foliages thick foliages I wanted some darker foliages there, so let us make some of these foliages. A lot of I don't know what these are. A lot of lines, sort of things are there. It could be some coconut trees or something. A lot of them. Lot of these things, so I'm I'm just doing this because uh, what do you call it is uh, I I don't have anything much to speak. I'm just trying to get these kind of branches there. Some of these branches, and they should all feel connected also. Lot of uh, lot of things here also. Some lighter steps here with lighter tone. of things
it's all making it to look busy that's it nothing very very much important okay. so we are trying to reduce our work by suggesting something by sprinkling or splattering etc it will all look okay it may not be very much convincing now but i think once it is dry with the details to all look good so i'm just trying to make some connection here there shouldn't be isolated something yeah. all these platters they should all look some more connected that's what i'm doing some texture here i think we need some darker lines also there because there should be some branches so i am looking for my burnt sienna color which for some reason i am falling short of I'm using burnt sienna now, burnt sienna and little bit of blue, Some cobalt to blue and burnt sienna. For some, we you shouldn't fall short of colors. Okay, so I'm I'm falling short of color today. So I'm trying to do some dry brush stroke here today. Okay, some darker. darker branches okay all this should not be just hanging without being connected properly some connection here also now we have to go for this inner stuff the the main thing uh, so first of all i wanted some this area should be little warmer color so what i am using is i am using 
very light mix of this yeah rose yenna maybe very light mix of rose yenna for this area i don't want pure white there okay i want it should be little warmer little some color which is which doesn't indicate very sharp white okay that that's all right i don't want too much of that now there is some bluish tint there okay so i want some bluish tint here so most likely that looks like cerulean blue maybe little little bit of white mix okay cerulean blue and i am using this cerulean blue with with a little bit of white mixed okay no also finding a touch of greenish color there i don't know why okay now somewhere some white as highlights i think i i think i will give those highlights later and uh, then then some dark line there so also some light lines here it is not this much of blue but reasonably blue it is blue even it is still some bluish tone only here and some reddish tone i am not really able to find out what color it is there some darker color also some kind of a structure let us let us uh, let us treat this area as done uh, because uh, there are some some additional stuff we can add later some details we'll add later okay and uh, this area the the white the blue shouldn't have come in this area but it's got little bit spread i should have taken care of it okay now let us go for the other details like the tiles sort of thing so the tiles is little bit violetish now so here first of all we have something something like this now 
you don't have to be very precise for this just suggestion will do I think it is getting very big strokes I'll take a smaller brush just some lines but you should have the perspective should be correct when you do this that is the only thing that is important this is not that prominent okay now we need some darker tones for the shadows let us stay let us make some darks for the darks maybe we could use little bit of uh, red and i am using little bit of uh, persian blue okay little crimson lake and little persian blue in this case and maybe a touch of green too I don't know. I'm, I just look at the tones and then see which which will make it dark. Okay. I want some. Now this is more bluish in this particular area, so I wanted some bluish color here for the darks. sharp edges here because it is not sharp there in the image not sharp there I just wanted to soften this. This is all. This is almost soft everywhere. This paper doesn't look good today. Okay. Now I think we we are done pretty pretty much. We'll have to make some shadows. For the shadows, I'll use little more and uh, maybe cerulean blue and more, and I will define the shadows.
the shadow on this I am making it little lighter color And at the edge, it is much more yellowish, the shadow. So here, I think, I'll make the shadow very much yellowish. happy with this area so we'll have to make some I think I have to make some 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 tones I don't know what tone it is I want some yellowish tone yellowish orange tone for this some extension of this shadow so that it looks little warm there okay and I am kind of softening it okay now I have to make all these windows and other things but before that I think I will make some white and dark touches to define the shadow area within the house so there are some white area Thing is shown in white so I, I, I should people I should have taken it a little bit more carefully at the time of painting so this is a kind of fixing up kind of thing some window here I think we are we are pretty much done with the, this work maybe we could make some one or two people here maybe one guy here okay 
Maybe somebody here. I don't know what he or she is doing. It's just a suggestion of somebody being there, okay. Now maybe another day here. I'm not sure about what color we'll put for him. Maybe he is Maybe he's a little reddish yeah. and the shadow of wood. Okay. Right. Now, a tiny bit direct yellow oil or direct orange I'll pick. A tiny bit of direct orange so that it is more prominent. I think that's it. There could be too many things done, but I'm not doing. Okay, uh, maybe we'll sign it now. Now that's it. We are done with our work. We'll take out the tape now. Some of these droplets are uh, not yet dry, but I think it is okay. I think we, it is finished now. We can take out the tape. Maybe one final touch I would do. Just take out the tape. Now we are pretty much done with our work. So this looks 
reasonably okay so one final thing which i might do now is to take some direct white in the tube and give some highlight to this guy so that it is is little bit visible that's it I think that's it. We, if we do anything more, it will spoil. Hopefully, you can see the finished work. This is the finished work. Uh, this reasonably resembles the scene. So we just use the suggestions. We didn't use much of uh, details. This is just suggestion. So that's what is sufficient, I think. So we'll see you in the next lesson and happy painting until then.